Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Um, as promised, I'm here with another video. Um, before we get into this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And that's on. So as I told y'all before, um, I'm super... Uh, like uh, all about being positive and uplifting people um i don't like negative people that's just one thing that rubs me the wrong way honestly so if you catch me being negative it's probably because i've like i i don't know i honestly can't even think of a reason for me to be negative like i'm one of them people that try to um uh, a lot and if you know me you know this i try to find the good out of every situation when i'm going through stuff i don't really a lot of people around me wouldn't know because i don't I don't like broadcasting. I don't, I don't, I'm not like, I'm not big on uh, telling people when I'm going through stuff just because I don't like them. I don't like people like feeling pity for me or something. I don't know. That's just how I am though. But um, as promised, we will be doing motivational Mondays. And I just want to open the conversation by saying um, if there's any young people watching this, um, this message is kind of like for you. Um, I'm young myself. I am 22. Even if some people like that's shocking. Yes, I am only 22. I will be 23 in May, May 19th. Uh, I'll be turning 23. I do have three kids and I am engaged. Um, let's just clear that right there. Um, however, a lot of the times when I tell people that, um, I'm 22 and I have three kids, they kind of like side eye me like, um, they like they look at me like oh wow you're super young you got all them kids yes i do um i just want to say like um uh, number one my kids is my biggest motivation um having three kids i okay let me give you the backstory okay i had my first kid when i was 17 um i was um um uh, it was my 11th grade summer and i was going into my senior year and um I thought I had like a stomach virus or something. Like I was just vomiting, I was sick or whatever. And I went to the hospital and come to find out I was pregnant. And now if you know me, my mom was like super strict. Uh, she was strict, like she didn't play. I could only go to two places and that was to my nana house or to my mama's best friend house, my auntie house. Um, other than that, if it wasn't my daddy's or my grandma's, I wasn't going. Um, I had one friend house that she let me used to used to let me go over, and that wasn't until I got, I think like, damn near in high school. To sum it up, she was pretty strict. Um, so that night I went to the hospital. I found out I was pregnant. My big brother took me, and um. When the doctor told me that I was pregnant, he just, he like, huh? You need to redo that test because she ain't pregnant. And he was just like super, super disappointed. So I couldn't do nothing but call, uh, I called at the time. It was just my, he was just my boyfriend. Now he's my fiance. Um, I called him and I was crying. Mind you, I'm 17. He was 19. And um, I was crying and I was just like, I'm pregnant and what are we gonna do? Like he he like, what do you mean what we gonna do? We gonna take care of it. I'm like, but I don't know how to tell my mama. So long story short, the doctor ended up coming in there. My brother comes in there. He like, if you don't tell mama, then I'm gonna tell her. So I call my auntie. We like sisters. Um, and I call her and I'm like, come up here. I found out I'm pregnant. I don't know how to tell my mama. So she rushes up there or whatever. And um we get to the house and we tell and I told my mom that I was pregnant or whatever. And as any mother, I, honestly, she did good when I told her. It was three in the morning, first of all. Um, so I thought like she was just, if you know Terika, baby, you know. I thought she was from the lay hands, baby, probably in feet, but she didn't. She was pretty calm. She was the first thing she was like, um, well, what do you want to do? You know, like that or whatever. Mind you, it's my junior year going into my senior year. I was a straight A student. I was a 4.0 student. Like I graduated on top of my class. Um, so like my senior year, I didn't have any 
um i didn't have to i was in a normal senior like i only went to school for i think uh an hour for one period because i was already finished and uh, i had to, that that year i just had to take one extra class and so i did that or whatever but um i'm all over the place i'm sorry y'all so um i find out i'm pregnant going into my senior year well when i found out i was pregnant i wasn't high risk um i just found out that i was pregnant and i was as i was going to the doctors um i remember i remember like i was i was like four months and i remember my my big brother again he he was driving me to school and i felt like i was finna pee on my, i felt like i had peed on myself but it ended up being blood so I'm halfway to school and I'm like, I feel like I just peed on myself. He's like, no, we got to stop at McDonald's. You can go to the bathroom and check and make sure, you know, it's not nothing else. So I goes in there and it's like puddles of blood. Like, I thought I was having a miscarriage, honestly. So um, I call my fiance and I'm telling him what's going on. At the time, he was already out of school because he's two years older than me. So he was already out of school, whatever. He worked at four in the morning. He would go to work at four in the morning. So I call him or whatever. We get to the hospital, uh, told me my son wasn't going to make it. It was just a lot. So fast forward time, I was in the hospital for three months, pregnant with my son. Um, mind you, this is my senior year. Um, and I'm like, I thought I, I, I honestly, I thought I was not going to finish. But my mama, she wasn't going to have no other way. And honestly, I wasn't either. I had came too far to just stop. And um, so half of my senior year, I was in the hospital on bed rest. I didn't get out. I missed like three holidays. I got out, I think it was like um, around Thanksgiving. No, I spent Thanksgiving, October, November. I came home right before Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. And um, mind you, nobody thought I was gone. Everybody that I went to school with, <clears throat> they was hitting me up like, what happened to you? You, you just stopped coming to school and stuff. So... I didn't go to school, whatever. I, I was already done. I was just taking that one class. I was finished with that. And so I popped out, um, me and my fiance, we popped out at prom. And everybody was just looking at me crazy like, oh my goodness, you here? We thought you quit or whatever. No, I graduated, like I said, top 10 in my class. Um, a day before graduation, I had my own place. Um, I, after I graduated, we went to our own, our first apartment. I was still 17. I didn't intern 18 until like three days after I graduated. Um, I turned 18 three days after graduation, but I was already in my own place. Um, so I had got my first job. I was actually, let me go back, let me backtrack. I was going to college. Um, I was going to community college. I was still working and I had a newborn. Uh, fast forward time, but two years later, I ended up getting pregnant again with my daughter. And uh, by then, I think I was I was still working in the school district. I was working in the school district at that time. I stopped working. My fiance took care of us. I didn't work for a while. And then, boom, three years later, I got pregnant again. Here I am. Um, three kids. Oh, this is five. And I'm, we're not rich by any means. Um, but I feel like we do good for ourselves. I'm only 22, about to be 23. And my fiance, he's 24. He'll be 25 in September. We do good for ourselves. Um, I say that to say, don't no matter what, what circumstances you're in, um, what you've been through, how your mother and your father is, anything, your family, don't let that um, you know, distract you from what you're trying to get in life. I got a lot that I'm still trying to accomplish and I got a lot of goals that I'm about to meet in 2021. Um, 2020 was super crazy. It was all over the place. I was all over the place. Um, baby, I was, it was crazy. It was rough. Um, by the grace of God, we made it and we're here and it's 2021. So, um, for this motivational Monday, I just want y'all to know, like, no matter what it is or your circumstances, don't let that hold you back. And no matter what people say, because trust me, I had a whole bunch of people doubting me. Um, 
you you would be surprised how many people thought I was gonna graduate, how many people thought I wasn't gonna um make it to college, how people how many people thought that I wasn't gonna um have my own place, any of that, that I was just gonna be another statistic. But I definitely didn't let that stop me. If anything, that motivated me to go a little bit harder. Um and start from the bottom. Now I'm here, working my way up. And that's just that on that. Um, but yeah. Don't let anything get you down or hold you back. You definitely can keep going and stay tuned because we got a lot that's finna go on. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you like it, thumbs the video up. Comment down below what you think, any input, all of that. Yeah, stay tuned for the next Motivational Month.